She called herself the peace lady. Many described her as the lady in white, a striking figure who would stand on the overpass with her arms outstretched, wearing flowing robes. She appeared to be blessing the drivers below. Many wondered what her story was. Who was this woman? Why was she here? Well, it's only in the death of Pauline Francis Murphy that we're learning more about her life. Hello. Here I am again, the peace lady. You've likely never heard her speak, but Pauline Murphy Davis was known to many in Toronto who saw her like this, dressed in flowing white robes, standing above the traffic on the DVP in 401. People would, you know, see these flowing gowns and her waving, and anyone who traveled the Don Valley Parkway during those years at one point in time would have seen her. We've unearthed this video that Pauline made and posted online back in 2010, explaining the genesis of the Peace Lady. In 1981, the Peace Lady was created and appeared walking the streets, wearing my robe, signing a peace sign with my fingers. For decades, Pauline would stand on overpasses and appeared to be blessing the drivers below. I spoke to her daughter on the phone from Sudbury. Her goal it wasn't to bless the cars, it was to promote peace and working together. She was just trying to get a message across to everybody to kind of love everybody. For 25 years, Pauline lived in the woods off the ravine after receiving messages from God that she needed to spread peace and believing it was her mission to create one church for all religions. I have dwelt in this wilderness for 25 years of them to fulfill scripture where God has ordered me. And he says, O oh, daughter of my people, go north of the city and dwell in the field. And she was a very articulate lady. She had just believed that this was her calling. She was very sound in what she was doing. Pauline Francis Murphy has died at the age of 75, an eccentric figure in Toronto's history. Officers at 33 Division posted this obituary shortly after Pauline's passing on April 12th, and hundreds have commented and shared their memories. Wow, I remember her so well having grown up in Don Mills, a cultural icon in Toronto. I hope that eternal peace has come to the peace lady. I always wondered who she was, why she did that, and whatever happened to her. Pauline hasn't graced the overpasses for years. She posted this on her Facebook page five years ago. I want to disconnect myself from the Peace Lady. The name belongs with the work done for Christ. The day of the Peace Lady is over. I lost, and so did we all. I must create another tech name. I have found old Pollyanna appropriate. I must start over as something else. At one point she was giving up because she felt like it was getting to be like banging your head against the wall. Six years ago in January, she got hit by a car crossing the road. She was just in her regular winter clothes. She wasn't standing on the bridges or anything. And uh, she was actually in a wheelchair. Her health has been in the last few years. She's had a lot of issues. Her final years were spent living with the love of her life, this man seen here at her granddaughter's wedding. Pauline's daughter tells me that her mom grew up a devout Catholic, even had plans to become a nun, but was excommunicated from the church when she divorced her husband back in the 1970s. We'll have complete details of the celebration for Pauline's life on our website, citynews.ca. I'm Avery Haynes, City News.